Hello, good evening, Edwin, how are you? Hello, teacher, I'm fine, thank you. Very good, evening. good. Good evening, hello, Osmin, good evening, how are you? Good evening, teacher. All right, today we're gonna start uh, where we left off yesterday. Who can tell me what information do you remember from yesterday's class? What information do you remember from yesterday's class? What vocabulary do you remember? Or what were some of the topics that you remember? Oh, uh, we was learn about the adjective, the possessive adjective, and WI questions. But the answer about the questions, the very long good, form very, and uh -huh. short form. Correct, correct. Uh, can you give me an example of using the possessives? So when I say that it's my book or this is her computer. Okay, very good, Edwin, very good. Uh, can you give me an example of using a WH question and a possessive? When we say, what is your favorite artist or what is your, or where do you live? Very good. Questions. Very good. That is correct. That is correct, Edwin. Excellent. Uh, Maritza, can you tell me something that you remember from yesterday's class? Okay, um, Osmin, can you tell me what you remember from yesterday's class? Me... Hi, Maritza. Hello, Alexis. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hello, Ada. Hello. Uh, can you tell me what you remember from yesterday's class? Okay, so in yesterday's class, we were practicing the WH questions and we were practicing uh, questions related to uh, meeting people, right? Do you remember? The goals is going, algo así. That is correct. So today we're going to. Y, y question, y respuesta como corta, short. Yes, correct, Catherine. Karen, that is correct, Karen. Uh, so today I would like for us to look at the reading section. Everybody, please, uh, let's read this together. Let me have one volunteer 
the volunteer, I want you to go over the first section. Um, Maritza, please read for me this section over here. Uh, <clears throat> hello. Hello, Maritza. Eh, lea esta parte de acá. Okay. Look out. <laughs> what is in name? Look at the names in the article. Do you know any people with names? What are they like? All right, excellent. Uh, repeat after me, please. Uh, everybody repeat after me, please. Any. 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 Okay, can, can somebody tell me what is the meaning of any? What is the meaning? Who can tell me what is the meaning of any? Any is algunos. Very good. But in the negative, right? Because if I say to you, for example, uh, there aren't any apples in the refrigerator, right? So any is for negatives. Do you understand? Or for yes. example, for example, uh, when you buy choripanes, do you like choripanes? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. okay. Yes. So imagine that you don't want a jalapeno or, or pepper in your, in your choripan. So you say, no, I don't want any hot sauce on my hot dog, right? Or for example, um, some people eat hamburgers with no onions. They don't like onions, right? So you can say, I don't want any onions in my hamburger. Or some people prefer to drink coffee with no sugar. So you say, nope, I don't want any sugar in my coffee. Do you understand? Yes. Yes, I understand. understand. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, what I would like for everybody to do is you are going to read the text that we just finished, you're going to read it with your partner and you are going to be practicing the pronunciation. Does everybody have the text or do you want me to send you a screenshot? Todos tienen el texto o quiere que le mande una captura de pantalla? Okay, okay. All right, ahorita se los mando al WhatsApp. Please read the text and answer the questions. Let's go. Teacher, solo una pregunta con el que me toque, tenemos que leer. Correct. Van a leer el párrafo, what's in a name, y después van a responder si es true o false, si es verdadero o falso en las preguntas. Gracias. Okay. Okay, ya estamos trabajando en parejas. 
ya les mando la imagen. Eh, veo que Osmin Rivera, Alexis Mojica y Darlene Ventura no ingresaron. Sí, por error eh, le di a rechazar. Ok, ahorita lo vuelvo a mandar. Eh, usted es Alexis Mojica. Usted está con Edwin. Vale, lo vamos a poner en el 5. Y del 5 lo vamos a pasar al 6. Ok, ingresa ya. Eh, Osmin Rivera, usted está con Kenia Martínez, Maritza, perdón, con Kenia Mar Molina y Maritza Córdoba. Y Darlene Ventura está con Eulice, Ronald y Celia. Y Darlene Ventura entró nuevamente. Ok, Darlene, la vamos a poner en el 1. Osmin Rivera. Athletic. Uh, y Stanley Nerdy en Sirius. Girl's name, Fede, Old Fashioned, Average, Emily, and Independent. Hello, what's me? Okay, guys, uh, I called you back because I want you to be able to um, share your screen. Quiero que compartan sus pantallas con sus compañeros. Teacher, yo soy desde el celular y se me hace como muy complicado compartir la pantalla. Oh, okay. Ah, pues otro compañero en tu grupo, pero uno que pueda compartir la pantalla. Let's go. is very uh, when you think of yourself you probably think of your name it is an important part of your identity right now the two most popular names for babies in the united states are jacob for boys and emily for girls why are these names popular and why are some names unpopular No sé quién más sigue de los que estamos en el grupo. Ay, habemos más, es que no me salen. Sí, no sí. puedo verlos. Eh... Ah, sí, somos más. Hola. Hola. Estamos leyendo un, un párrafo cada uno, si quieren. 
continúen así, como le quiera. Ok, entonces, entonces continuaría con el tercero, si no me equivoco, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok. Sería Mace can become as popular, beautiful, or famous actor, TV, or book, char characters, or athletes, popular names, subject, very positive, sí. o un popular name, name suggest, negative, his, super singly, you play, you play generally, agree on the way the first other names. We are the same como opinión overnight from a blessed survey. Okay. Uh, oh, hello. Um, los nombres o la párrafo siguiente. Ah, si quieres los nombres. Ok. Boyd's name. George Abernes Boring. Jacob Creative in Friendly. Michael Good Looking Athletic. Stanley Nerdy Serious. Gear Nice. Betty. Cole Fashioned A Burnish. Emily Independent Independ Adventures. Jane. Plain, ordinary, ordinary, and Nicole, beautiful, intelligent. Um, creo que voy yo de nuevo. Um, so, no, why sí. do parents give their children some popular names? Uh, Falta alguien. No, no. no. no sé. uh, uh, mm -hmm. The biggest reason is, is tradition. Many people are named after a family member. Of course, opinions can change. Over time, a name that is unpopular now may, can, may become popular in the future. That's good news for all the George and Betty's out there. Okay. Eh, no sé si quieren intercambiar y empieza alguien más y así. Eh, sí, voy yo. What's in a name? Look at the names in the article. Do you know any people with these names? What are they like? Eric? No, no sé qué parte me tocaría a mí. Sí. El, el, el primero, your name is. Ah, ok. Yeah, your name is very important. And when you're, you're thinking of yourself, you're probably thinking of your memories. It is an important part of your identity. Continue. Right now, the two most popular names for heavy in the United States are Jacob, 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 for boys and Emily. For girl, why are these names popular? And why are some names unpopular? Names can become popular because of famous actors, TV or book characters, or athletes. Popular names suggest very positive things, and popular names suggest negative things. Surprisingly, people don't generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are Here are some common opinions about names from the from, from a recent survive. Most names: George Average Boring, Jacob Creative Family, Michael Good Looking Athletic, Stanley Nerdy and Serious. Girls' name: Betty, Old Fashioned Average, Emily Independent. Adventures, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Jane, plain, ordinary, ordinance, Nicole, beautiful, intelligent. Ok, creo que eso sería son, son Weaver, de esta parte, ¿verdad? Sí. Son Weaver. Sí. 
o no sé si alguien más la, la va a decir. No, dale. Sure, sure. Yeah. Some little parents give children on popular names. Uh, the biggest reason in tradition, many people, people are not are not after a family member. Of course, opinion can change it over time. I may what it in Poland, Lula. In popular, no means the cause popular in the future. What what good mere mute or a day Georgia and the and the and the pig or all day. No sé si tenemos que hacerlo de nuevo. Ahí ves, si lo repetimos, vamos cada haciendo párrafos diferentes. Ah, vaya, pues, eh, no sé si sí. comienza a Osman, o, o no sé. Sí, ¿Qué, el, que, el que sigue, ¿verdad? Ay, sí. perdón, pensé que estaba hablando de Erika. No, no es pena. Ok. What is, what is an aid? Look at the aid in the article. Do you know any people with this name? What are the they like? No sé quién va, ya me perdí. Va, va Guzmán. Ah. Okay. Your name is very important. When you sing or yourself, you probably sing or your name first. It's, it's an important part of your identity. Right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Uh, why are these names popular? And why are some names unpopular? Names can be no, names can become popular because the famous actors, TV or books, characters or attractive attract. Popular names suggest very positive things. In popular names suggest negative negative things. So reasonable people generally agree on the way of on the way they feel about names. Here are some common opinions about names from a resident survey. Do you a very boring? Of course, creative building. Michael, good luck, good luck, King Athletic, Stanley, nearly serious. Hills name, Betty, all, all fashion, a very independent aventures. Jane, fine, ordinary. Nicole, beautiful, intelligent. So why do parents give their children unpopular names? The biggest reason is tradition. Many people, many people are named after a family member. Our core opinion can change over time. A name that is unpopular nor, ma, nor might become popular in the future. That's good news for and the yours and very out there. Alejandra. Hola. ¿A quién le toca? A ti, ah, ¿verdad? empezamos de nuevo. Eso era el final, ¿verdad? Ajá. Um, bueno, comienzo de nuevo. Uh, what's in a name? Look at the names in the article. Do you know uh, any people with these names? What are they like? No, it was two other. 
Um, boy. Your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you probably think of your name first. It is an important part of your identity. We know, I know the one most popular night for Barbies, Barbies in the United States are Jacob, for your aunt Emily, for his it was the name popular, and we are so nice and popular. Nice can become popular because of famous actor, TV, TV or books, ch character or athletics, popular nice subjects, very positive scene, unpopular nice subjects, negative scene. Surprisingly, people generally agree with the way they feel about nice. Here are some canon opinions about nice from a written survey. Si quieren nos salimos ya. Ya se va a acabar. Bye. Okay. All right, guys, let's go ahead and practice reading the text. Let me have one participant, one volunteer to read the first paragraph right here. One volunteer. Me. Okay, go ahead, Ingrid. Okay, I no veo la pantalla. Okay. Yo estoy compartiendo mi pantalla. Okay. Um, okay, okay. Your name is very important when you think of yourself. You probably think of your name first. It is an important part of your identity. Right now. Identify okay. or identity. Identify? Identity. Uh -huh. Identity. Identity. I identity. Your identity. And right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Why are these names popular? And why are some names unpopular? Very good. Uh, uh, select somebody, Ingrid. Uh, okay. Hey, no me voy a contestar los demás. Alexis. Okay, let me have Alexis Mojica. Okay, dice desde names hasta su baile, verdad? That is correct. Okay. Names can become popular because of famous actors, TV, or book characters. Eh, ahí sería or famous. Huh? Famous. famous. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Eh, tengo una duda con atletas. Atletas. Athletes. 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 Or athletes. Okay. Popular names suggest very positive things. And popular names suggest negative things. Surprisingly, no sé cómo se pronunciaría esa. Surprisingly. Surprisingly. People surprisingly. Generally, surprisingly. Mm -hmm. People generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are some common opinions about names for a reason to survive. From. 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 Uh -huh. A reason to survive. That would be survey, survey, survey. Uh -huh. survey. 
Okay. From Next. a recent survey. Okay. Uh, go ahead, Alexis. Select somebody. Um, permítame. Veo los nombres. Alejandra Guido. Casi. Alejandra Guido. Hi. Hello. Okay. Um, boys' names. George Average. Uh, it's okay. Average. Average is correct. Is correct. Boring. Uh, creative. Friendly. Uh, Michael. Good looking. Thank athletic. you. Athletic. Thank you. Okay. Um, do I select someone else? No, no, no. Continue. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, no, it's because it's I, I, I call myself Michael King uh, uh, in my other yeah. job. So, and I feel okay. that uh, I am athletic. So, it's only nerdy and serious. Girls' names Betty, uh, old fashioned, average, Emily, independent, mm -hmm. adventurous. Uh, it's okay, adventurous. 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 Jane, plain, ordinary. And Nicole, beautiful and intelligent. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Free Beth, select the next participant, please. Um, Mabel Lisette. Mabel Lisette, please continue. Hello. Hello. Uh, same part. What part, pardon? Uh, you can start uh, at the end. So why do parents right here? Okay. So why do parents give their children unpopular names? The biggest reason is tradition. Many people are named after a family members. Of course, opinion can change over time. Uh, Nadam is unpopular now. Unpopular, unpopular. Unpopular now. Meet because popular in the future. That's go Net for at the news, news, news. That the news for at the Georges and Betty's out there. Perfect, out there. Very good. Okay, guys, did everybody finish this activity? Did yes, you yes, finish? I finish. Okay. Yes. Let me have. Um, one participant, one volunteer, number one. Read the sentence and say if the sentence is true or false. It's true. Read the sentence. Yeah. Read the sentence. True. Your name is... Sorry. Your identity. Okay. True. Very good. Your name is part of your identity. Everybody repeat. Identity. 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 That's true or false? It's true. 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 All right. <sighs> Number two, another participant. Number two. Um, People me? often feel the same what about, about a particular name. Correct. True or false? It's true. 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 Okay. Okay. Good job. Number three, a volunteer. Boys' names are more popular than names. God's names. Uh -huh. Very good. True or false? False. 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 Number four. People are often named 
after family members? True or false? True. True. It's true. Number five. Opinion about giving. Yes, teacher. True. 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 Let's check it out. Ding, ding, ding. Very good, ladies and gentlemen. Applause for everybody. All right. Good job, guys. Okay, guys, we are finished with section number one. Yay. Mm -hmm. Now we are going to go ahead and move forward and we're going to look at section number two. Anna, do you have a question? No, Anna, no, no, no. Oh, okay. Solo la reacción. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. All right, section 2.0. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements. En esta clase, los participantes escucharán una conversación acerca de trabajos usados pronombres y adverbios interrogativos. Where do you work? Conversation practice. Listen, please. Listen, please. Apunte las palabras que no entiende para después ayudar. Thank you. Hi everyone, welcome to section two. How do you spend your day? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hey, that restaurant sounds delicious. Hamburger heaven. <laughs> What's your favorite hamburger? Hamburger heaven. Why? Because when I eat it, I feel I am in heaven. <laughs> Do you like hamburgers? Yes. 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 I like yeah, hamburger. with bacon. What is your favorite hamburger restaurant in El Salvador? Wendy's and Burger King. Wendy's. W Wendy's. What? Wendy's and Burger King? Wendy's. Yes. Hamburger yeah. with McDonald's. bacon. McDonald's? Bacon? Okay. Um, are you guys, have you ever guys been to a place in Santa Tecla? The name of this place is called Paseo El Carmen. Have you been to that place? Yes. 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 Ah, okay, okay. So uh, when you are walking on the strip, uh, there is like a like a van or like a mini van, and is they in they sell bur crazy burger. The name of the of the little place is called Crazy Burger. Oh my god, delicious, delicious. I when I go, I buy one to eat there, and then I bring another one home with me for the next day. <laughs> Para que valga la pena el viaje. <laughs> one is not enough. I need two. <laughs> All right, let's practice the dialogue. What do you do there? Uh, listen and repeat, please. Everybody, listen and repeat, please. Where do you work, Andrea? Where do you Where work, do you work, work, work there, Andrea? I work at Tomas Cook Travel. 
I wore, I wore a chamask. Ok, eh, le vamos a pedir a Herson. Eh, Herson, por favor, mantenga su micrófono en silencio porque se escucha eh, interferencia de su bocina. Gracias. ¿Me escuchan, guys? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Teacher. Ok, ok, ok. Ok, okay. One more time, one more time. Where do you work, Andrea? Where, Where do you work, work Andrea? Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. I work, I work, work at, at Thomas, I work at Thomas Travel. Travel. Yo prefiero trabajar en Hamburger Heaven que en Thomas Cook Travel. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? What do you do there? Oh, oh really? really? What do you do, do there? there? Really? I'm a guy. I'm a guide. I take oh people God. on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. I am a guide. I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. Like Peru. How interesting. How interesting. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. Yes, yes, it's a great it's job. A great I, love it. I, love it. I love it. I love it. And what do you do? And what, what do, what do, you, do? do you do? I'm a student and I have a part time job too. I am, I am a student and I have a part time job too. Oh, where do you work? Yeah. Oh, where do you where work? Do you work? Oh, in a fast food restaurant. In a fast food restaurant. restaurant. Which restaurant? Which restaurant? restaurant. restaurant. Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger, Hamburger Heaven. Okay, we're going to listen to the video one more time and then you're going to practice in pairs. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as a statement. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I Hi, everyone. Welcome to Section 2. How do you spend your day? In this lesson, mm. participants mm. listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as a statement. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. What do you do there? I'm a guide. I. All right, let's practice one more time. One more time. Are you ready? Where do you work, Andrea? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. I, I work, work at, at Thomas, Thomas, Cook, Thomas Travel. Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, really? What do you do what there? Do you do there? Mm -hmm. I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. 
I'm a guide. I'm a guide. I take people, I take on, people, tours people on tours to countries in, uh, in South America, countries like Peru. South America, like Peru. How interesting. How, How interesting. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. Yes, yes. it's I a great love job. It. I, love I love it. I love it. And what do you do? And what, and what do, do you do? What do you do? I'm a student and I have a part time job too. I am a student, a student and I have a part time, time job, job too. Oh, where do you work? Oh, oh where, where do you, where do you work? work? In a fast food restaurant. In a fast, In a fast food, food restaurant. restaurant. Which restaurant? Which, Which restaurant? restaurant? Which restaurant? <laughs> Hamburger Heaven. <laughs> Hamburger <laughs> Heaven. <laughs> Me mata ese nombre, <laughs> Hamburger Heaven. <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to practice the conversation in pairs. At this moment, does anybody have any questions about the pronunciation or about the meaning of any of the words that you see right here in the conversation? Please ask me the questions. What's the mean? I am a guide. Oh, a guide. Un guía. Turista. Turista. Yes, a guide. Here in this okay. side, huh? <laughs> Pronunciation. Interesting. Ooh, I didn't hear anybody. Interesting. What's the meaning of interesting? Interesante. Aha, uh -huh, interesante, correct. Interesting means interesante. Another question? Which, which? Uh, which, uh, eh, cual, correct. Very good, very good, uh, cual. Uh -huh. which, which restaurant, teacher. cual restaurant? Que restaurante? Uh -huh. Teacher, y part-time job? Part-time job is un trabajo medio tiempo, no full-time. Full time is tiempo completo. Part time is tiempo corto. Cuatro horas, cinco horas. Es un part time. Oh, Está yeah. el full time, ocho horas, y el part time. Tiempo corto. Okay, gracias. Yes. All right, let's practice the conversation in pairs. ¿Todos tienen la conversación o quiere que le mande una captura de pantalla? I have. Okay, you can share your screen. You can share your screen. Si termina de practicar, puede volver a practicar varias veces. La idea es mejorar la pronunciación. Practice, practice, yeah, yeah. Eso me pasó a mí. Yo cuando estaba en los Estados Unidos, no practicaba el español. Gran error mío. Ahora tuve que reaprender el lenguaje. Y ya lo sabía, pero como no lo practicaba, ¿qué pasó? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Everybody, yeah, love somebody, yeah. Ver, eso está bien. El primero de. Ya lo encontré. Y ah, ya lo tengo, si quieres. Sí, sí, ahora ah, la pongo. Gracias. No sé si empezamos o dos primero y luego intercambiamos otras dos y así. ¿Quiénes soy? Sí, son ahora. Y no sé si tú o, o, o la otra compañera, no sé. ¿Cómo? ¿Qué, ¿Qué eres de Jason? Sí. sí. Ah, puedo ser Andrea, si, si está de acuerdo. Sí. 
Y después ella que practique con... Ajá, y después intercambiamos. Okay. Eh, where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America like Peru. How interesting. Interesting thing. <laughs> Yes, it's a great it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I am a student. I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? Uh, in a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. <laughs> okay. Hoy la compañera contigo porque tú hablas bien. <laughs> Gracias. Darlene, y si quieres soy yo ahora Jason y tú, Andrea. Sí, está bien. Eh, where do you work, Andrea? I work in Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I am a kid. I take people on tour. The contrasting in South America like Peru. How interesting. Yes, I eat this. I great how I love him. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food, fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Um, no sé si podemos tal, tal vez ver la, la pronunciación de algo si, si quieren juntas. Por ejemplo, eh, in, interesting. ¿Se interesting. Dice así? <laughs> interesting, ajá. Sí. Interesting. Interesting, okay. ajá. Así es como el interest, como que se traba. <laughs> ajá, interesting. Y de ahí. No, lo demás sí está bien. Creo que solo esa me cuesta a mí un poquito. A mí me cuesta, es ahí donde dice constring, constring. Countries. Countries. Uh -huh. Countries. Countries. Uh -huh. Countries. Sí. So. También uh, Job, la J de Job es como una Y. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Eh, creo que otra vez ahora les toca a ti Verónica con Darling ok yo entonces voy a ser Andrea ahora o oh, Darling ya fue Jason voy a ser Jason ok where do you work Andrea I work at Thomas Cook Travel oh really What do you do the day there? Uh, I am I am a guy at people in first to countries in South. In South. In South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, I yes, uh, yes, it's a great job. I love it. I and what do you do? I am a student. I I have a um, part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger yeah. Gaming. ¿Cómo era? Heaven. 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 Oh, heaven. Yeah. Uh, yes, son las hamburguesas del cielo, ¿va? Sí. <ríe> ok. Um, no sé si volvemos a pedir alguna otra palabra que yo cuando son las palabras así, por ejemplo, en esta donde dice, I, I am a guy. I speak on first country. Cuando es así muy largo, sin que haya coma, me cuesta más. Sí, es como, como bien corrido. Uh -huh. 
Entonces, no sé ahí como, como qué tips tienen ustedes. Híjole. <risas> Creo que como tal vez hacer como, como una pausa, pero no, no tan pronunciada, como I take people on tours y ahí se para como to countries in so, uh -huh. uh -huh. tal vez como and... South American, like Peru. Mm -hmm. Ajá, eso tal vez puede funcionar. Como que no se nota tanto, pero sí la haces. <ríe> sí, ok. Ya se acabó el tiempo. Se acabó el tiempo, compañeras. Nos vemos. Bye. Un gusto, bye. <ríe> All right, is everybody finished? Yes, yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, let me yes. have two volunteers. Two volunteers. Uh, me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. One more volunteer. Yo, teacher. Yo, teacher. Okay, Anna. okay, Ana, ready, go. Ahí sí, tienen sí. la imagen en la, el grupo del WhatsApp. Ahí está. ¿Quién inicia, Ana? ¿Quiere usted Jason o yo, Andrea? Okay. Eh, no tengo yo la imagen en el grupo, Ticho. Eh, sí. No les mandé la conversación al grupo. No, nosotros con, otro compañero, con la otra compañera estábamos en la plataforma viéndolo. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Ahorita se los proyecto que se me salga esto. Give me just one second. Can you see by the bed? Okay. So along with it. What is it? La la primer el primer video de la segunda lección. Is it Mr. Lord Brown? Punto uno. 2.1. Sí. Okay. Two, one. There goes. Okay, let me have ready Jason and Andrea action. Okay. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Traveling. Oh, really? What do you do? What do you do there? I am a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How, how interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I am a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? I'm in a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Intercambiamos, pero. Ahora, ahora yo soy Jason y usted es Correct, correct, correct. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, right. What do you do? I'm a guide. I take people on tour to countries okay, in guys. South America. I like. Like okay, guys. 
it's already time's up. I got to get out of here because I have another class after this class. So I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no. Tomorrow is yeah. Friday. Oh, Friday. TGIF. Monday. TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you. See you Monday. Bye bye. See you Monday. See you Monday. Thank you, teachers. See you. Monday, teacher. see you. Thank you. Guys, if see you have you. questions, please, you can always write me, okay? Uh, thank you. All right. Okay, good night. Enjoy the weekend. Bye bye.